Mr. Speaker, a partner at Tories LLP was registered to lobby the Justice Minister. Conveniently, the night before the pay-to-play fundraiser that his law firm was hosting, he deregistered as a lobbyist. The, the Justice Minister was told by the Prime Minister not to target departmental stakeholders while soliciting political contributions. Can the Minister explain how attending a private fundraiser with high-priced Toronto lawyers who have been registered to lobby her department is consistent with anybody's ethical code? Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Justice and all ministers in the government have at all times followed our obligations under the Ethics Code and under the Conflict of Interest Act. The Liberal Party respects the Canada Elections Act. All of this fundraising, Mr. Speaker, is done according to law. All of the donations are transparent and disclosed according to law. It's something that every member of this House has done in order to win a seat in this House and continues to do. And, Mr. Speaker, ministers in the previous government also raised money for the Conservative Party and used to brag about it one day not so long ago. Yeah. Member for Red Deer Lacombe. The Justice Minister claims she attended the high-priced pay-to-play fundraiser in Toronto as a regular MP. Right. Then later she said she was there as the Minister of Justice. The invitation to the event highlighted her new role and extraordinary mandate. It also told attendees this would be the Minister's first private event in Toronto. Oh. Ah. So, Mr. Speaker, was she there as the Justice Minister or a regular MP? And if she wants to be a regular MP, it's simple. All she has to do is resign as the Justice Minister. Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the only part of that question with which we agree is the incredible mandate that the Minister of Justice has been given <laughs> by the Prime Minister to reform our justice system and to clean up a number of messes left to this government by the previous government in terms of justice law and justice policy. Mr. Speaker, as I said, this fundraiser was done in entirely according to the rules. All of the applicable conflict of interest code, ethical obligations, and Canada Elections Act measures were followed. We'll continue to do that, and the honourable member is trying to create a scandal where none exists. <laughs>